India has rejected the proposal by the new Japanese Prime Minister to form an Asian NATO strategic military alliance in the region to counter Chinese threat, saying that India does not share the vision of such a collective defense framework. Germany's disencrypt marine systems has lost an international arbitration case, concerning defective parts in submarines built for South Korea, and Korea is now expected to collect a compensation of approximately 13.68 billion won for repair costs. Bangalore is gearing up to host the Aero India 2025 from 10 February, and once again, the US will participate with its F-35 stealth fighters. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued an expression of interest to identify a proven helmet-mounted display and sight system for its current aircraft programs. An Indian firm have been appointed to oversee the installation of the main dorsal antenna on X Air India 321 aircraft for the Netra Mark II program. The Indian Army is gearing up to conduct user trials of the nearby subsonic cruise missile, along with expanding the production line to the private sector for mass production. The Indian Army is gearing up for crucial tests of the indigenously developed guided Pinnaka rocket system from 21 October. The DRDO will start the process for the integration of NAG Mark II missiles on advanced armor platform. The Indian Institute of Technology Delhi is set to create special artificial intelligence powered parachutes for the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force is exploring the possibility of inviting private sector companies to establish a maintenance repair and overhaul facility for the F-404 engines, and this move comes as the Air Force plans to place orders for over 97 more Tejas Mark 1A fighters by the end of 2024. This move would involve the Air Force procuring spares and consumables directly from General Electric, while Hindustan Aeronautics would not have a direct role in engine maintenance. According to a report by the Federation of American Scientists, India is poised to significantly enhance its nuclear arsenal with the upcoming deployment of the Agni-6 intercontinental ballistic missile, that is expected to be operational by 2027. The Agni-6 will be capable of carrying 10 nuclear or thermonuclear warheads in MRF and MARF configurations, and it can also deploy decoys and shafts to confuse anti-ballistic missile systems. A 12,000 km full-range test of the Agni-6 is likely to attract international attention, so India might consider declaring a range of up to 9,000 km while conducting the test with a super-heavy warhead, as this approach would demonstrate the missile's capabilities without directly challenging Western sensitivities. Kalyani Strategic Systems is in talks with the AM General and Mandus Group of US to enter into a multi-party agreement for the co-development and co-production of next-generation 105mm and 155mm artillery platforms. These next-generation artillery platforms will feature disruptive technology, responsive and survivable fires and transportability, and will optimize crew size due to less logistics requirements. Hanwar Defense has announced the development of a new version of its highly successful K9 howitzer, featuring a larger 155mm 58 caliber barrel, that boasts an extended range exceeding 80 km, and advanced features such as unmanned teaming capabilities, thus improving situational awareness and firepower. The Indian Army has plans to procure 200 additional howitzers for high-altitude operations, and this extended range of the new K-9 howitzer is significant for operating in high-altitude regions. The DRDO is working on a submarine-launched variant of the naval anti-ship missile medium range for the Indian Navy, that will replace the aging Exocet anti-ship missiles currently in service with the Calvary-class submarines of the Indian Navy. It will have a range of 250 km, and will be equipped with high-explosive warhead, capable of neutralizing large enemy vessels. It will be modified for launch from torpedo tubes, allowing Indian submarines to strike enemy vessels without surfacing. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, drop it.